coach on the individual side. You talked again uh, about the stage, the preparation. Everyone on the team, the starting lineup who will be participating in the individual side are all returning Olympians, all of whom also have world medals on the individual side. How, how again, do these games change and how do the guys go in confident, expecting to win this time? Well, I mean, every one of them has had individual world championship medals, have done really well, won Grand Prix, won World Cups, whatever medals, all kinds of situation, as are a variety of other of our top competitors. So the reality is that we're right there where we want to be. Um, the truth is in men's foil, there's probably about a dozen to 16 fencers who could probably win or at least medal. So it's a fairly large field. Um, yes, we may have some high rankings in certain situations, but I think what happens on the day, I mean, it's interesting. If you looked at this, the first seven World Cups of the year, a different fencer won each of the first seven. Only until Alexander won the last one in Shanghai, but was like he's the only one who won two. But so what I'm trying to say is it's a wide group of people that's there. So it's not like in some weapons that you have kind of like the regular players who are always there. Here you got a big spectrum, not that big. I mean, maybe Epe has a little bit more, but I'm, I can't really tell for sure. But I can tell you it's a wide spectrum, so we need to be really ready. The fine line is very delicate, and we understand that, so we need to make sure that we're ready for those specific situations. And given our fencers' experience, I think they're able to focus in those scenarios. So my only hope is that we all fence in different brackets. We don't fence at the same time, and that way we're able to sort of really go after it and have the most opportunities for success. On the theme of co focus, Coach, you yourself at Masiel's MT and Foundation, um, you have for the world's best, not only uh, your son Alexander, but also your daughter on the women's foil side, and uh, James Davis, Great Britain representative, and also Garrick Meinhardt, who's been with you for, for so many years. What focus elements are you working on in this qualification year where things can be incredibly stressful, where there's a ton of other stuff outside of fencing and off the strip that can be distracting? How do you keep things tight? Well, like I said, fortunately, <clears throat> all these guys have been around the block. Garrick has been two-time Olympian before since so the third Olympics. Uh, Alexander uh, is his first time around. Sabrina, unfortunately, because there's no women's foil team, she's not going to be. She'll go in as a training partner, but she's, her event is not participating. Uh, she's on the national team, so you know that's kind of where that happens. So she's there to help out as much as possible. And James, obviously, for Great Britain, also has his opportunities that are there. He also was a London Olympian. So there's a certain amount of like understanding what happens. And I think the fact that we have all these top fencers together also creates the right positive atmosphere. Because sometimes you hear like one fencer by themselves and nobody else around them that, that's at a high level sometimes. It's hard for them to kind of have a perspective. The fact that we have so many top people together, I think we have a really good perspective of how what's needed to get done. And I think that also helps a lot of our younger fencers too. Because as everybody understands the perspective, how you go approach the situation, then everybody down the line, so from our top juniors or other Div 1 or cadets, whatever it is, then also to see, wow, this is what the process, this is kind of the direction I need to go in terms of how I handle, um, you know, emotionally, intellectually, preparation-wise, you know, don't make big things out of nothing, you know, out of a big thing, make it a small thing, the small thing, make it a non-existent thing. And then don't get distracted by the media and so on and so forth. And those are things that all kind of, because, you know, the younger guys that see the, the, the press coming into the club, being this, and focus on, oh, and they see that they're kind of normal and casual and everything else. Understand, but they do it like you got your job, and you know, we are a thing, we'll sit here, work, and do whatever it is, but we'll not let this affect us in terms of what we're going to do. And I think this is the maturity of being around the block for a while and having enough people together so that you can keep that perspective. So, at least that's what I hope. 